Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jungles and Dragons, D&D actual play podcast about four monkeys who go to the Forgotten Realms, go on an adventure to save their friends. I am Harris and one of your hosts. Let's uh, introduce you to our next host, shall we? Yo, man, it's me, Ethan. I'm, 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 over, I'm down here. Look down. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the little guy of the group. I'm the small one. And I'm playing Paul Benus, the Paladin Night Chimp. And you know, I'm being a small guy. I always think to myself, what would it be like to be if if if, if I was a Smurf? You know. So our funky monkey fact of the week is, what would Paul Penis be like if he was a Smurf? You know. Um, and I I I personally think down here, you know, where I can like you know the sun the sun's in my eyes and I'm choking on dust mites and stuff. I think Paul Penis would be like a, I think his name would called like Fishy Smurf. And I think it'd be like a smurf yeah. that's that smells like fishy, like tuna paste or something. And he'd like to go fishing. He'd get like a little he get like a little twig and like a little piece of string. You go to that go down to a little smurf pond, catch a blue fish or something. I don't know. Ow. That's good, that's good. I can I can picture it in my head, but yeah. Yeah. He's got he's got his pork pie hat. He's got his his toes out dipping in the water. Fishy yeah. smurf, yeah. Little fish, little, he's a little guy. Yeah. All right, normally we would have August go here. However, August running a few minutes behind. He's uh, late. He's late. Let's, uh, let's get a game, shall we? Hey, guys. Gabe here, the official voice actor for Eugene Team Monkey. Uh, level 7 Mountain Dwarf Fighter. That's also a level 3 Hexblade and old Capuchin Monkey. And I'm blue right now. Turned blue. Um, I have a little hat and whatever. Yeah. If Eugene was a Smurf, I guess he'd be old Smurf, and he'd be old and wrinkly and dying constantly. <laughs> simple, simple. Yeah, that's a good Smurf. Can you give us some lines from that Smurf? Like, what does he say? What's his deal? <laughs> that's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> and maybe he has now, like a Nick's ball something, something of an expert on Smurfs, being the youngest of us. Smurfs are really right up his alley, you know? He is, yeah. He is, he is the Smurfpedia in his hand right now. Nick, what? Oh, sorry, my internet. He was he was oh. reading a Smurfpedia. Oh, he was sorry. lost in the, this text. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Nick. This is you know Smurf right. time is after J and D. But yeah. now you can talk about Smurfs. You have hey, four. guys. I'm 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 Blue Nick. I'm playing Blue Ani. Uh, that would be a <laughs> druid. Uh, if Ani was a Smurf, because he's so like like smart and wise, he'd probably be like a brainy Smurf or something like that. Really? How novel? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't... That's pretty cool. If if not that, cool. then he'd probably maybe be like a clumsy smurf, you know? Because he's always dropping <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, classic Ani. Would he be like a... And also like a, a grouchy smurf or a smurfette? Yeah, he is a bit grouchy sometimes. Not a smurfette, though. That doesn't really... I don't know where you got that from. That's kind of... Yeah, that's kind of twisted, Gabe. I don't... Yeah, whoever whoever keeps sending Finboy Ani pictures to us in our inbox, please cut it out. Whoever yeah, keeps mailing us pipe bombs and Femboy <laughs> Ani pictures to the J&D headquarters, please cut that out. We're whoever tired keeps, of it. Whoever keeps putting I, my in car's the blown up like four times. Yeah. Whoever keeps sending me envelopes like from the dark night that it's like it's in a uh, you know <laughs> one of those big envelopes and I pull it out and there's pictures of Femboy Ani and then it says look up and then my car blows up. Stop it, please. <laughs> if you give me like a, yeah, a thumb drive that's out, connected please. to a thumb and like in the thumb drive there's just a bunch of Femboy Ani, you know, I would stop. Okay, if you keep um, blowing up all the bridges around the island where I live, <laughs> and then like freeing all the criminals and doing all that stuff, and then you have keep, it rain pictures guys, of Femboy Ani, <laughs> you, you guys keep, keep creating dispensing machines fear that connect to your into TV the city. and then connect you to your TV. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, no more fear toxin because all I see are pictures of Femboy Ani wherever I go. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's scary. It's scary. Femboy all right. Ani. 
You've made your point. It's scary. All Stop right? saying Jesus. that Zamboyani is for the people. <laughs> By the people, for the people. Literally isn't. Have you guys ever known a femboy that's for the people? No, no, no. <laughs> those are those guys are those guys have some some interesting political ideas usually. <laughs> They're for the white people usually. Ah. Typically. Um Hey, I'm Harrison. I am the DM. I don't have a monkey that I play unless uh, Stagunga counts. Um, my, if I was a Smurf, I think I would be like paranoid Smurf, and I'd always be talking about like the <laughs> government and aliens and stuff. Because like I, you guys know that I, you know, that's like one of my core personality traits. I think I'd be talking about like Majestic Twelve and like. Uh, like uh, MK Ultra and all that stuff, you know, just constantly. Yeah. Every time a Smurf I, I comes and greets you at your door, you always, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always Every come time's packing a gun, and you whenever you open the door, you're just that paranoid. <laughs> the, yeah. big, the big musket. I, I'd, I'd, yeah. Every time, like Papa Smurf knocks on my door to see why I didn't attend Smurf Hall, I open my door and point a gun at him, and I'm like, "Are the Greys with you, Papa? Are the Greys with you?" <laughs> All the gray smurfs, and then I and then I crack his skull open, and I open it up, and there's a little gray alien inside, and he says, "Orion's oh, belt." <laughs> belt. <laughs> That's true. And now can we just have happen? to wait for August, I guess. If a character does die again in J and D, can we have that happen again? <laughs> <laughs> Every single time, one of, we all it all so it's a big reveal. I think that's how J and D should end. We all yeah, die yeah. in the final battle, no, I, and I then we, we all we're all lying this. there, and our faces open up. I think I mentioned go, like by the end, I want to say Eugene unzips, and we play a zipper sound effect, and then it ends. <laughs> um, August said that he's home. However, that was almost ten minutes ago. <laughs> I told um, you he's got a he guy. He's got he's got a big ass house. <laughs> he's, he's lost. Like, in it. He's running he's, through the he's corridors. He's reenacting the Gordy's right home now. soon. Um, he's reenacting the Gordy's. <laughs> he's hiding under the table right now. <laughs> he's got to wait. He's got to wait for the bloodthirsty chimp to get shot before he can get no, to I, his I thought court. August was the bloodthirsty <laughs> chimp. <laughs> oh, that's how okay, I, I see. Him. I see. Yeah. So he's got to get shot before he can come talk to us. Yeah. He has to go for a fist. Oh, bump. sorry, sorry if you haven't seen Nope yet. Uh, <laughs> That's been enough. It's been enough time. Yeah, it's been like it's been like two months, it's five months, eight months. It's been like months, two so years. Like, it's been like four hundred years. It's been like a century. It's been, it's been, like, it's been like a millennium. It's been like <laughs> it's been like eons. Yeah. It's been like a, oh, there he is. Well, 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 well speak, speak of the speak devil. Of the devil. <laughs> oh, August, August, you're gonna have, you're to, gonna fix have to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's well, gone. And he's gone. And is and well, quite frankly, he's gone. August, if you're hearing this, uh, our funky monkey fact is best uh, seen from the he movie just the deafened. Internship. He just deafened. Oh, all right. Well, he's not hearing. It. He didn't hear my epic joke. Okay, now he's back. August, yeah, yeah August. Funky monkey fact is. Is best seen from the movie The Internship. So you yeah, gotta say what your monkey's favorite scene from the movie The Internship is. Yeah, that's what it is. There he is. Why is he yeah, so quiet? Sounds like you're a thousand so, miles he's away. So quiet. Hello. Why are he's you so a little louder? He's Hello there. Louder. He's, Hello. He, he's like he's coming closer. <gasps> he's coming. He's like running from over the horizon. <laughs> yeah, is this loud enough? Is this loud there enough? There you go. Ah, you cut. You finally got close enough. Now, did you hear Ethan tell you what the funky monkey fact is? Yeah, my favorite scene is when um uh what is it? Who is it? Uh is it is it the is it is the Daniels? Irishman is in that Robert movie? Is, yeah. I think cuz to me it's either De Niro or Steve Carell. I don't know why. Uh, it's definitely De Niro. Not uh, I like the I like how much Google there is in that movie. All right. Cool. Let's go on to the all episode, right, shall we? Begin the episode. <laughs> That's not the funky <laughs> monkey fact at all. <laughs> no, that was it. That was the that was monkey it. No, fact. That was it. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> was it your favorite movie or something? <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get your homework, August. Yeah. I didn't get told what um, it was. <laughs> um. Okay, let's start.
uh, Eugene, you are standing in this office next to a bookshelf covered in witch paraphernalia and a table covered in buttons, uh, a panel covered in buttons on the table. The table itself is not covered in buttons. Um, And one of these buttons says, emergency evacuate. And as you reach towards this button, suddenly you clutch your chest. There is such a severe pain in this donut hole where your heart used to be that you have to, you have no choice but to keel over in agony. You cannot move. (laughs) Meanwhile, several yards away, both below you and away from you, uh, at one of these um, uh, metal walkways that leads to the cages where the no ones are held, um, Paul, you are faced by the uh, the former cat, Brother Job. Uh, he is approaching you. He is cackling <laughs> as he approaches you. Um, Stop. Both of you roll initiative. Uh, Twelve. Okay, I've got a six. Okay, that gives him a little bit of time to figure out what's going on with him. Gabe has suddenly stopped talking. We're having a lot of issues today, folks. Uh, Gabe's computer is farting, and Ethan's computer is farting, and August was like... Ah, stinky! Um, so stinky! Ah. Um, <laughs> we, do <some> th- <laughs> we do some things. Computer. <laughs> yeah, so luckily Eugene rolled a six, so he's probably going to be at the end. That'll give him some time to figure out what's going on. Ew, ew. First up is Job, and he, he points at you, Ethan. And he says, "Me." He <laughs> points at like out. Really, he points at Ethan. <laughs> Sorry, no. He says, "What he points? Sense have you Stay away from lately. me, Mister." He points at um, at Paul Benus, and this low cackle resonates from his throat. <laughs> Fiery devils oozing slime. I'm going to give you a hell of a time. And with that, he opens his mouth and a bolt of fire comes out. Yeah! That's terrible. Take... Oh, this is a, this is a sucky spell. <laughs> Take one d four fire damage. Oh, all right, <laughs> I got two. <laughs> yeah, you Ow, God. a little Fuck. bit. Ethan, are Ow, you okay? I feel like I, I feel like I just touched a stove. <laughs> okay. Right. Next up is yep. oh, Gabe's back. Thank God. Okay. Next Still up dying, is though. Uh, next up is uh, Ethan. Sorry, Paul. All right. My, uh, yeah, all right, you can rhyme too, so can I. I got a little bit of burn from that little (laughs) thing. Now it's my turn to give you a little sting. All right, and I'm going to stab him with my longsword. Yeah, go ahead. Um, That is a 15. Let me check. Does that hit? Question mark? Question mark? Uh, No, that does not hit. (laughs) I guess I just miss. You get another attack. <gasps> I get it. I get additional attack down the same old street, and I go and back, and I slash and I his smell feet. Your feet. I slash his feet. August for playing J and D. I'm smelling, smelling your feet. <laughs> I'm smelling uh, your feet seventeen. That hits. Yeah, <laughs> All right. <laughs> I get to roll a D eight plus a little oh three. My God. <sighs> Uh, yeesh. <laughs> you're really okay. You're doing this All right, right that is 11. Cool, I rolled an 8. Nice. Uh, yeah, how do you slash him? Do you just, do you literally slash his feet? Uh, yeah, I kind of like to cut his toes off. <laughs> you cut his toes off these, uh, um, he's got these, like, pilgrimy boots on. You, you <laughs> slash through the toes and blood squirts out and sprays all over you. There's like a geyser of blood coming out ah! from his feet that sprays onto you and he howls in pain. Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! And then, um, <laughs> slowly and excruciatingly, each toe grows out, grows back. <laughs> and, uh, you Ew. can see through this hole in his shoes that you have cut, these little green toes with gnarled yellow toenails. Gnarled. Ew, they're so gnarled. You gotta, ki- you gotta tend to these gnarled toenails. Gross. Uh, next Anyways. up. Anyways. <laughs> Eugene, you were in this office, 
and he's gone. You, uh, yeah, what? Gabe's gone. <laughs> Where did Gabe go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he just disappeared. When did he leave? I don't know. I like just looked second, over and he was gone. Like, like a minute ago. I, I think he's just sorting out his audio. <laughs> it's the rapture. <laughs> yeah, he just got. Yeah, we're all sinners, and Gabe just got taken up to heaven just now. Oh, <laughs> Gabe, you were in this office, lying on the floor in pain. Uh, when you look over at the door, which slowly opens, and a hand knocks on the inside, knock, 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 and then Sister Maud walks in, and she says, "Oh, Eugene." I'm surprised you, uh, you got here. I thought Job would have taken care of you by now, but... And you can see in one hand, she is holding a small, still-beating capuchin heart. And she squeezes it, and again, you are filled with agony. And she says, It's not a good idea for you to be here. Why don't you come with me and we'll continue the games? Does that sound good? I mean, uh, not uh, not really. I'm not a big fan of that idea. I kind of got a, I kind of got my old uh, my old buddy here. I'm dealing with. He kind of moves his head over to Paul. So, um, n- n- nah, fuck that. No. <sighs> well, I tried to negotiate, and she starts to shift and change, like you saw Job did earlier. Yeah, that's, that's gross. Her face becomes gaunt. Oh. And and skeletal, as the skin is just barely clinging to it, clinging so tightly it's almost translucent, and yet it's still sort of this this dark green. But you can see these veins and these membranes underneath it. Yeah. Um, her eyes bug out of her head, and are bloodshot red. She's got these gnarly chompers in her mouth, these horrible yellow <laughs> teeth. Um, And she also sprouts four more arms. Mm. You see these bones poking out of her abdomen, and they bend and they unfold. And four more of these gaunt, clawed arms come out. And she Mm. says, I suppose I'll introduce myself to you properly now. My name is Maud Spiders. Is there even more British? How do hag last names work? (laughs) Why is it spiders? Yeah. Uh, she begins to move these four arms in this hypnotic, or, or six arms, including the original two, in this hypnotic pattern, waving them back and forth. Ooh. Um, Ooh, in my like eyes circle. go swirly. Ooh. Blackest night and yellowest pea, powers of hell, attack he! And a bolt of lightning appears in the middle of her hands, and it shoots out and it strikes Ooh. you for... Um, let me roll, let me roll, let me roll, let me roll. 21. No, not 21. 21. Oh, yeah, roll, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> she rolled two ones. So that's a two <laughs> plus four. So six damage. These are some six great damage. attacks you're doing, Harrison. Well done. <laughs> um, and then with her bonus action, she squeezes your heart one more time. So it's your turn. Oh. All right, you need to give me a constitution saving throw. Con save? I'm pretty good at those. Not bad. That is a 17. Yes. Okay. Um, You are still in a lot of pain. However, you can move this turn. So to remind you where you are, you are in this office. You have a witch on one side of you, and you have this big button that says emergency evacuate on the other side of you. Yeah. Um, I want to try to get to that emergency evacuate button. You can do that in one turn. Do you reach down to touch it? Yeah, I'm gonna run over. Gonna run over. Plop, 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 plop. Gonna climb on the thing. Clap, 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 clap. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sit on that button. <laughs> Give me a uh, dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, that's a nine. A nine. Um, you position your tushy right over the button and you prepare to sit down when suddenly you feel something invisible grasp at you. And Maud says, Oh, you didn't think we wouldn't have security, did you? Not anyone can just walk in and push the button. And this invisible force tosses you away. 
and you can see materializing over this button is a living shadow. This uh-huh. tall, maybe nine foot tall, like humanoid shadow, and it's crouching over the button. And I, I assume I don't have an action, right? Or would be the button being um, my action? Yeah, pushing the button was your action. Okay. You probably have a bonus action. Um, uh, do I have anything I can do with the bonus at the moment? I think that I think that's all for me. Yeah. Okay. Next up is Paul. Or next up is Job. And Job says, mm, "That last attack wasn't so great, but here's one that you'll hate." And he slashes at you with this scythe. Oh my god! This just ain't your day, huh? Let's see. Well, a six plus two is eight. I don't think an eight hits. <laughs> nope. He misses, but he's going to try to hit again. For another two plus six and eight. (laughs) I don't think that hits. No. (laughs) He slashes at you twice. Uh, How do you dodge these two attacks? Uh, I sort of matrix style it each time. Let's be honest here. Like the coolest way you can, you know? Yeah. And he's visibly flustered at this. He's he's getting peeved. It is your turn. All right. Well, Paul says... None of the guys go steady because it'd be right to lead their girl best go home on a Saturday night. And then uh, his sword starts to glow. He's going to, you know, um, we're going to divine smite this shit, you know. Um, and he's going to slash at this cat boy's stomach. <laughs> Not a cat boy. He is a boy that used to well, be a cat. he is a, a cat, cat boy. boy. I mean, but, by definition. Uh, this isn't cat boy uh, It's 18. That hits. Okay, so sixteen damage. Yeah, and you slash at his stomach. Yeah, sort of his Tauntaun esque intestines slide out. You know, they're all gray. Okay, yeah, know. with with uh, sixteen damage, you slash in his stomach, and yes, these gray intestines start to slide out of his gash. And he looks down. and He says, "Uh oh!" And he starts scooping them back in. And you can see these intestines; they're all like all like rotted and maggot eaten. They're covered in flies and maggots and worms. Ew. Um, and then you have another attack. Yeah, yeah. 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 So while he's gathering his quote unquote belongings, um, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to slash down again. Um, Cut him off with my, my sword. Yeah. Cause he's like bent over. So it's going to like slash in the back of his head. Um, and that is a 16. That does not hit. Fuck. All right. Well, then I guess I just... <laughs> I, I miss. <laughs> oh, he burps. Oh. It's really well-timed. Yeah. You slash down, and I think uh, you, you're you closer to him than you realize. And instead of your sword blade hitting him, the edge of the hilt hits his head, and Ooh. there's a crack, and his head snaps forward, and his neck breaks. Um... And his head is just sort of da- his head is just sort of dangling there, dangling yeah. loosely by his neck, and you can tell it did not hurt him as all- at all. And his head rolls around on the neck, and it-, it turns around upside down to look at you, and he says, "Ouch!" Uh, so- sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is Maud. She is going to try to shoot you with another lightning bolt. I'm sure uh, well, she, it hits automatically, so mm-hmm. she isn't going to try, but but she will shoot you. Four. Ooh, okay, finally, a, a somewhat decent attack. Uh, 18 damage. Oh my god, yeah, that's that's hefty. This, this lightning bolts through you, and uh, you go... Also, I forgot, I have to add the shadow to the initiative. Um, it's going to go... Right before you. Congratulations. Excellent. Uh, so next up is the shadow. As you are getting bolted with lightning, the shadow, without leaving its spot, reaches one of these long, clawed black arms over to you. And as I look up the shadow uh, stat sheet... Where did the shadow um, come from? They see my little skeleton. It was in there. It was invisible. Um, oh. Oh, what, it was just uh, like in, shadows in could the turn invisible. Room? It looks like me, the um, giant. It is going to reach to attack you. I don't think a five hits. Let me check. Let me check to make sure. Um, oh, no. <laughs> okay. 
So the shadow, it reaches at you, and these claws, you're expecting them to slash into you, but they don't. They pass through you intangibly. And as they do, you feel this necrotic force as if it's trying to suck something out of you. Something other than health. Uh, however, it fails. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, you see my skeleton, my, you see a little bit of smoke come from the top of my head. Oh, uh, man. <coughs> Like something trying to trying to suck more than just my health, like a, like a, like a, something a big straw. Yeah, you gotta get some chocolate, <laughs> man. Yeah, it, it has a big shadowy straw, big, big boba it, straw, it tries to suck you with, but but it misses. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. Nah. So he's kind of kind of dazed and confused. Not in the neat. He 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 grabs um, Never seen spoons it. his hat and he thinks he's like, huh. It's security, huh? You are definitely out of charges by now. Damn. Ah, man. It, it would have been so good, too. Uh, I, I uh, think you used both. Wait. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, all of your, uh, all of your things got recharged when you, touched the, when you touched the green homunculus and smacked his booty cheeks. Yeah. So sure. you have one charge left because since then yeah. you've only used sex I used once. it for, I used this, I used text for sex, yeah. So I'm going to have yeah. to think. So you have one charge left. Okay, security, huh? He thinks back to a podcast he really likes um, that happens once a year around Thanksgiving. <sighs> oh, yeah. His mouth begins to open up and a red light comes out. And I'm going to cast Eldritch Blart. <laughs> <laughs> so crawl, crawling, out of oh, Eugene's, yeah. crawling out of Eugene's giant mouth is a big kind of chubby red hand. And then another one. Red <laughs> Kevin James, but his skin is ruby red, and two large horns curl from his head, crawls out of his mouth, and then flops over. He's on that and scooter he pulls, too. He pulls out of his ass crack a Segway that is on fire, yeah. like the Ghost Rider motorcycle. Oh, oh. <sighs> yes. Hey, bud, how you Hold doing? Ah, uh, what? Let me look up. <laughs> what demon do I want to use for this? Uh, demons D and D. Yeah, use use. Paul Blart stats. Uh, demons and uh, <laughs> uh, the only one I remember off the top of my head is the Chain Devil. Mm-hmm. What are the stats for a Chain Devil? What's a chain I don't remember devil? any others. Um, chain Devil challenge rating eight. You're level ten. That seems fair. Nice. Um, what about the one that's yeah, like a okay. big gorilla? He turns over to you and he says, "Ah, oh, look at me! I'm Paul Blart. Ha ha ha!" I'm 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 fat. That's the joke. That's the joke of my movie. <laughs> I love uh, that movie. What what uh, what do you uh what do you want me to do, boss? Uh, so uh, what here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you fight that you fight the the shadow and get that button to go on and I fight the big spider. How are we feeling about that? Sounds good. Um <laughs> he, he he a hole in his hand opens up a flesh hole and out of it comes a fiery chain and it strikes at the shadow uh he shoots two of them let's see if they hit wait harrison is there at least like a hot dog or something funny on the end of the chain <laughs> um i mean paul Blart doesn't like do hot dogs that's not his thing um <laughs> I've never seen the movie there's there's uh wait no it's the big sticky mess um, the big gun that yeah i don't know from. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, he shoots the big sticky vest that shoots glue foam at him. It's not a chain, it's glue foam. He rolls a 12 and a 20, not a natural 20, a 12 and a 20. Mm. And the shadow has an armor class of 12. So, both of these hit for 22 damage. The shadow instantly catches fire and dies. (laughs) Hit that button there, baby. The shadow dies, and, and it turns into pure glucose. Which uh, Paul Blart sucks up through his nose, and he says, "Ah, oh, yeah, that's the good stuff." Turns into well, that was a good one, huh? Um, and Eugene's gonna then crack his back a bit and use Second Wind to get a D10 plus seven health back. That's his bonus action. It's not your turn. You can't do that. Oh no! I thought it was my turn. Oh, I I, the... well, I was thinking it was Paul Blart's turn, but we can consider that part of your turn. So yeah, you can do oh. that. Oh, oh yeah. My apologies. My apologies. We get that. Okay. So the button is unguarded. However, I feel like that's a good amount for a turn. Yeah. Next up is Job. He says, okay, um, I'm not going to do a spell this time. I'm not going to rhyme. I'm just going to try to hit you. Okay, come at me. Oh, my God. 
seven and a 15. Jesus, this is taking forever. <laughs> Yo, if you want to, if you don't want to fight, we don't have to. I'm like, you know. <laughs> You're like holding him by the head, like, like yeah. holding him by the forehead as he tries to like run towards you. And he, his feet are just scraping on the ground. <laughs> He's swinging his arms back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well. You know, I, I guess you you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, okay, it's your turn. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Does can I just can I divine smite anytime I want? It doesn't say. Yeah, uh, but eventually you run out of of like slots to use for it. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. Smlots. I can do it three more times. All right, I'm gonna oh. charge up again. Oh. Uh. Yeah, all right. And I'm I'm holding by his head and I'm just going to like like skewer him through his chest, you know. Um, <laughs> okay. This 12-year-old boy. And that's that's another 18. Um that hits. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to 34 damage him. Oh my god. Uh with 34 damage, I think you do skewer him and yeah. then you rip your sword out and another blood geyser shoots out the top of his chest oh. and he's going <laughs> Blood starts pulling out of his mouth, dripping onto the ground. Seriously, we don't have to fight, all right? Just no, let me leave. No, we have to fight. Ethel uh. wants me to fight. What Ethel says is always right. She's always right. Uh, I have to that, kill you. He's rhyming. I, that wasn't even rhyme. supposed to rhyme. I have to kill you. I have to. She says I have to. She says I have to. All right, um, dude. Are you, you going to use your other attack? Yeah, I'm gonna use my other attack, and I'm just gonna like, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go back through. I'm just gonna stab him again. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, fourteen. That doesn't hit. So I guess no. Nope. It slips. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, you got lucky that time. <laughs> um, he is writhing on the ground in pain in front of you. Um, next is Mod. Um, this time. She is going to slash at you with her eight claws. Sorry, her four claws, because six claws, because two of her feet are on the ground. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That doesn't hit you, Eugene. Uh, that's a 17. Does the worm. However, with, with her bonus, yeah, you do the worm and dodge. However, with her bonus actions, he says, you are not going to get away with this. And she, she grips onto your heart again. It is your turn. Actually, well, yeah, it will be the shadow's turn. The shadow's dead. It is your turn, uh, but give me a constitution saving throw. Gotcha. That's a 21. 21? 21? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you can move. All right. Um, first things first, I want to use one of a feature I haven't used before. Um, it's I get from being a battle master. Have I, have I s interacted with them for at least a minute? Yes. So I have this thing called Know Your Enemy, and it allows me to learn one um, piece of information, and I want to learn their current HP. Okay. Their current HP is... Know Your Enemy. Um, you, uh, I know you haven't watched One Piece, but mm -hmm. uh, Chopper has one a piece. thing called... The One, one piece, piece is real. It's real. It's real. Can um, we get the child? Let's see, what, is he, what does he call it? I forget <laughs> what he calls it, but one of, one of Chopper's points is that he holds his hooves up and makes like a diamond in front of his face <laughs> and he can scan his enemies like a computer when he does that. It's so stupid. Um, <laughs> what a terrible show. <laughs> so you, you hold your me. fingers up and make a diamond in front of your eye and <laughs> a little green uh, square appears over her and starts scanning her. And you see her HP is 82. <laughs> 82. Okay, okay. And that it doesn't say as well. she barks as well. Um, it keeps barking. She keeps barking. Oh my god. But yeah, okay. That doesn't say it has any sort of like bonus or action. It just says like the as long as I've seen them for a minute, I can know something. Okay. But so for my um uh, fuck it. Let's see if I can do a bunch at once. Um what can I do? What can I do? Bonus action, I'm gonna hex blades curse. So I get a yep. So I get a four to damage. I'm gonna. Is action surge a bonus action, or is that just something I can do? Action surge, I don't think is a bonus action. I don't remember for sure. Uh, it's just a special action. It's just something I can do. 
Okay, great. So I'm gonna action surge again. I'm gonna action surge as well. And I'm gonna do um Fuck it. I'm gonna battle axe three times. Don't fuck Okay. It. Let's see what I can do. Are you do. trying to one shot her? I'ma try. One piece? That's an the eleven. One that piece one is real. Real. The one okay. piece is real. Second one. Now Ethan, you do the song now. That's a seventeen? I get that hits. And I'll do one more. That's a 25. That hits. All right. So I'm going to just add up the damage all together. 13. 11, add hag damage. 24 sure hag plus damage. 4. That's just 28 damage as he just like starts going crazy and just starts swinging wildly. Okay. Yeah, but that's still quite a bit. You plunge into her blood spurts out. She grasps at the wound. Huh? <gasps> Ah, ah. Yeah, this is uh, impossible. Hey, Nobody's Paul. done this before. Hey, Paul, can you can you at some point finish your finish your guy and to get in here? Yo, I'm trying. I don't. This guy, I fucking kill. I'm all, like, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm I've trying, been pretty. Right? I've been pretty busy here, but I've been hearing some stuff overhead, and it's it just seems pretty awkward. Yeah, I. He won't leave me alone. I'm just trying to leave him. Like, I don't want to fight him. He just won't leave me alone. Have you told him like, stop calling, in a like several <laughs> yards across to each other? <laughs> yeah. Have you uh, tried just saying stop in a firm voice or something or just turning your I've, back and walking away? Yeah, so yeah. I tried. I tried friends. everything. All right. Well, yeah. uh. What, what are you doing with the rest of your turn? Uh, that was my. Okay, that was my special action. Do I have anything? Let me see what I can do for my bonus. Oh, wait, no. Hexblade's curse is bonus. So There's that's something you could. Oh. Okay, well, what do you tell Paul Blart to do? Oh, yeah, Paul, uh, oh, my God, too many Pauls. Uh, (laughs) hey, uh, uh, Blardo, can you, can you help? Bubba Blart. Can you help Paul out there? Paul's got to stick together. Eugene, Eugene, there's a big red Oh, yeah, there's, hey, guys, oh, yeah, Paul, can you press (laughs) the big red? (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah, that one right there, right in front of you, that one? Oh, yeah, I can hit this button, and he slams his hellish hand down on it. Then he farts and, and says gibberish. Hear a beep, beep, beep. Emergency, evacuate. Beep, beep, beep. Emergency, evacuate. And all of the cages in this entire, like, football stadium-sized room open up. And you see Lumbark Thrunglocks. You see Dragonborns. You see Dwarves. You see Halflings. You see Humans. All of these people who look like they are in so much pain, like they haven't slept, like they haven't eaten in so long. And they blink a few times, and they look around. And with the exception of Wormula, whose two legs are broken, um, (laughs) they all begin to run. And they run down these metal walkways, and you can see um, these old men who are inspecting them. They say, oh, oh my, what's going on? What's going on? And one of them says, out of the way. And they shove them off the walkways and they all start to run. And um, Maud uh, looks around in panic and she says, what, what, this, what, right this on, is never, baby. this has never happened before. What is going on? No one has ever managed to do this. And she holds up her wrist and says a few words. She says, Job. Go find uh, Ethel. Tell her what's going on. Get out of here. And uh, Job, in front of you, um, he he looks up at you, Paul, and he says, "Uh, well, okay, I guess I don't have to kill you. Bye-bye. And (laughs) poof, he's gone. Damn it, Um, I wanted to kill him. (laughs) And Maud looks at you, Eugene. And she says, Hi. I really should kill you right now. But you just did something that I did not think was possible. So many people have tried. Only you succeeded. And for the first time, I realize maybe, maybe I don't have to do this. Maybe there's a way out. Eugene, I was a human once. So was my brother, Job. So was I. Sister, 
What? What? <laughs> what? I, what? I hear that. What? No, I'm that's kidding, not I'm true. Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sister Ethel took us under her wing. I didn't see Our her any wings. parents left us in a lot of debt. Uh, we would be no ones ourselves if she didn't take us in. And I knew that it was wrong, but I didn't think there was any other choice. See, money rules the world, Eugene. I don't believe me, I ain't nobody. And that. when you run out of money, the next best thing is bodies. Bodies are the best currency. But Eugene, I don't know. I don't know what I should do right now. Hey, you wanna you wanna know why they call me Eugene? Cause I'm here to help you, and I'm a genius. So <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. You got you know better. <laughs> stupid fucking line. Hey, hey, uh, Paul, can you come in here too? Here's what I'm Paul thinking. Paul's too far away. Paul's oh, too far away. far away. I, I'll, I'll start strolling, but I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. Here's what I'm thinking. Do you know anything about a book? It's too late for me. I've heard too many people doing this. Hey. I thought you had to be like this to live in this world but i i will tell you one thing go to the forest the forest well the let forest me, g2 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 is where you will find what you're looking for well let me tell you something i've been traveling with that guy out there for a while and to be honest he's done Hi. some bad thing he's done some pretty bad things too so uh Hi. I don't think it's too late for anyone. So if you're feeling up and up, he flashes out the Super Bowl ring. You'll know where to find me. And then he starts heading out. Hey, yeah, Paul, we're heading to a, we're heading to a forest. Gone. Oh, well, well, a forest. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Uh, Paul Blart. Can you? You know, you're all about security. Can you get Wormula down there? I think he's oh, oh he's trampled. He's a smear now. Oh yeah. Um, I'll, go, I'll go get him. Wait. There's one other guy who's not moving. And you look down, and you see sitting in this cage. Oh, uh, yes. He's oh, the yes. only one in the entire room that has <laughs> yes. any sort of furniture. Um, he's sitting on like a like a lounge chair, and it's a it's a anthropomorphic brown dog, and he's got these two flappy ears, and he's holding <laughs> what looks like a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we get to these things so in time, everyone's gonna get this immediately. <laughs> I don't wanna let him out. <laughs> oh, wait, who, I gotta go check this guy out, he seems pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go approach the cage. Oh yeah. god. He says, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, Ben. <laughs> what? I don't know who you are. Wait, no, sorry, what? sorry. Hey, who the hell are you? Ho, ho, ho. Uh, oh, wait, uh, are you, are you okay? What's going on? No. <laughs> Eugene's gonna start strolling. It's gonna take him a while to can, get there, though. Can you only answer yes or no questions? Ho, ho, ho. Can you answer only answer yes or no questions? No. What? Then why are you what who are you? Why are you here? Yes. What? Ask him what who his name you? is. He's gonna start running. What's your name? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I don't remember how he says Ben, so he goes, says Ben. 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 He says he says Ben. Ben Ben. Uh all right, Ben. Let Let's get you out of here, dude. You don't have to hang out here anymore. Come on. Yes. <laughs> and he stays in the chair. Who Who, who is this freak you're talking to? Dude, I don't know. Who the hell is this guy? Try asking him some questions. Hey, how you doing? Yes. Hey, he's doing good. So, uh, do you like being in here? No. Yeah, man. Let's see what I can. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Are you evil? No. All right, I trust him. Uh, let's see. What can I do for him? Uh, you know, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, 
Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um. Hmm. 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 Hey, uh, Paul, why don't you pick me up, right? Right? Yeah. Get me to that lock, and I'm going to put my little, uh, my little hand. No, the cages little... are all open. Oh, He's they're just open. Sitting... Oh, what? Oh, let's just step in there then. Hey, Paul, come on. Come on in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Paul, do you still have the, do you still have the metal cylinder in your bag? Uh, the, uh, let me see. The gun? Yeah. The gun doesn't have a bullet, though. That's fine. Yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 I do. I have this. Hand it over, hand it over. Okay. Do you like this? No. Ah, okay. Paul, what else do you have in your bag? (laughs) Oh, I know. I'm going to call him on my banana phone. (laughs) (laughs) You you do not have his number. Can we have your number? number. Hey, Ben, can I have your number? (laughs) Yes. What's your number? <laughs> no. What? Hey, no, Ben, wait, wait. give me your number. <laughs> and now we're going to cut to Ani. Okay. Let's let's flash back a few minutes. Ani, you are standing in this elevator. You have just walked in here uh, after refusing to leave on the same floor as Spoons. Uh, what floor do you want to try now? Uh... Do you want me to remind what you what your options, options are? Yeah. Room R, room G1 through G3, B1 through B20, K, and L. Gotta be K. Okay. You push K, and the elevator starts going down. Do, 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 And it opens up, and, um... You hear lots of chatter, all in the same voice. Oh, can you pass that? Oh, quick, pass that. Pass the time, will you? Pass the, the bat eyeball, <laughs> will you? You see a gigantic, <laughs> the size of a football stadium, kitchen, with lots of uh, these shiny metallic tables, lots of cupboards containing all sorts of weird ingredients. You see slimes and eyeballs and nostrils. Well, not nostrils, noses. You see ears, all from different animals and some that look somewhat human. Um, You see lots of herbs, strange herbs that you've never seen before, all in this gigantic kitchen. Um, You also see cauldrons, and you see working at these tables and working at these cupboards and these stoves and these ovens and these cauldrons is a bunch of skeletons, and they are all stirring and cooking and chopping. Whoa, looks like it's mealtime in here. What's on the menu, boys? uh, One of the skeletons looks up and they says, Oh, you're not supposed to be here. What are you doing? Get out of here. Go, go on. Get out of here. The, the guests are in B20. Leave. Uh, but, 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 but what's going on here? I gotta know. We are making food. For who? For, for the, the guests at the casino. That's pretty uh, obvious, man. That makes sense. You, you mind if I snag a treat or something? You know, for the elevator? Oh, fine. Um, he hands you uh, a little, um, a little eyeball on a uh, on a on a toothpick. Ha! <laughs> Time to chow down. And oh, he's gonna head over to the elevator. <laughs> okay. Do you eat the eyeball? I eat the eyeball. Give me an Arcana check. Arcana. Interesting. Twelve. Remember when I told you that? Um, that Ethel screamed at you really loudly, and you felt something change in this instance. In this instance, and when you eat this food, the same food that was being served upstairs, uh, a candy eyeball, you feel that same change, and with your magical knowledge, you realize what is happening. The luck is being drained out of you. Remember when I had you roll a d20 and if you failed, you slipped on a banana peel? Ah. You recognize in this instance that in this instant that you are unlucky. That's not good. Give me a d20, a straight d20. Disadvantage. Okay. A natural one. (laughs) The natural one, um, 
you walk into the elevator, and as you are walking in, the elevator doors close on you and knock you back. And you say, you know what? Let's do this again. And you step in, and the elevator doors close on you again. Uh, Take 2d4 damage. A huge dragon appears and eats you whole. Damn, 4 damage. Fucked up. Wow. Uh, hey, 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 skeleton, is this elevator working all right? The elevator should be working fine, yes. Hmm. Well, can I, uh, hmm. What can I really do here? Would you like to take the stairs? There's stairs? Yes, there are stairs. All right, yeah, I'll take the stairs. Okay, he leads you to the other side of the kitchen. Um, not not like the far other side, but but um, the corner away from the elevator. And he opens up a stairwell for you, and he pushes you in and says, Bye-bye, and closes the door immediately. Um, Thanks, and skeleton. And there are 26 flights of stairs. I should tell Spoons about this, this luck situation. Yeah, so Sp- <laughs> you recall Spoons is on G3. Is that where you're going? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's going to be 25 flights of stairs. <laughs> also all up, right? <laughs> They're all up, yes. Actually, no, only 24. The kitchen is the second lowest uh, level. Okay, so you're walking upstairs. Give me a... Um, I, I, you don't need to give me anything. Uh, t- tell me how you're walking up these stairs. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to jog up them. I'm trying to get there fast. And just as uh, you start jogging up these stairs... You get to a door that's labeled B20, and suddenly this door bursts open, and a horde, hundreds of creatures, humans and halflings and dragonborns and dwarves and elves, all start running out of this door. Some of them are running down past you, and some of them are running up the stairs. They don't look like they know quite where they're going, but they're just they're just saying, get out! We gotta get out of here! We gotta get out! Come on, everybody! And they're all running. <laughs> What's in there? Do you look in there? I look in there. You look, you look in there, and you see a room that is being progressively emptied out as all of these these sapient beings run out through various exits. Um, and you you see uh, a, a a man with a with a curly gray beard and curly gray hair and a checker shirt lying on the ground with both his legs broken, moaning weakly. Oh. Uh, uh. And you also see Paul Venus and Eugene talking to a dog sitting in a recliner. Oh, guys. But don't, don't go talk to them right now for no reason. Just don't go talk to them. Do you go join them or do you keep walking up? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go see what they're up to. Who's this dog over here? Let's flash back a few minutes again. We are, on, uh, we are back in the elevator. Uh, coming down from G3, Ethel and Spoons are standing in this elevator. Ethel is now all green and gnarled with a long, warty nose and yellow fangs that are dripping green venom onto the ground beneath her. And she turns to you, Spoons, and she says, So, where are they going? Did you pick the music in here? Yes, oh, where sorry. are you, they you know, going? You know, you first. You... Uh... Your friends, oh, where will we okay. find them? No, I had to think about they for a second. What, you know, um, they are going, uh, probably out, which is up, right? Like up in this place is out. Trying to escape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They can't escape. Yeah, it seems pretty hard. I mean, I was trying to escape, and then uh, you were there. Well, let's go to the top, and we'll meet them there, shall we? And she pushes the button R, and as the elevator is rising, suddenly, poof, Job Cat Scratch is in the room with you. And he's ah. panting, and his head is dangling from his neck, and ah. he's holding his entrails against a gash in his stomach. Ah. And he says, ah. <coughs> Oh, hey, monkey. And he pats you on the head. Hello. I pat him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles at you. Uh, and then he looks up at him. 
at Sister Ethel, and he says, Ethel, Ethel, oh, oh, bad news, bad news. <laughs> uh, 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 the no ones are loose. The no ones have escaped. And Ethel, she just stands there for a second, like a solid two seconds. And she frowns. I don't think and she, she says, that news. Ex- excuse me? She looks at you, Spoons. Was this your friends? Uh, I've been with you. I don't know. Of educated guess? They're all too stupid to do something like that. They're probably just hoofing it out of here. Who else would have done it? Oh, I guess the resistance leader's in your, like, in your pocket, right? His head yeah. is in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember that. Um, so, I guess probably... Spoons, yeah. Rango. I, I, I don't know about walkie-talkie. I don't know if it probably is them. Yeah, you're probably, <laughs> probably yes, right. <laughs> Did I say my last name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a loss for me. But they're idiots if they think they're saving anyone. Don't they know what tonight is? <laughs> no, is it, some, is it a holiday? Is it the Shabbos tonight? No, 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 no. The royal family's big plan. Prince uh, Declan's cure for the sickness. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the, the most sinister guy on Earth I've ever spoken There's to. There's yeah. no escape from here, <laughs> because the lower half is going to go up in flames. <laughs> They're all gonna die! <laughs> Isn't the casino in the lower half? No, the casino's in the upper half. Oh, that makes sense. That would, um... Yeah, that would uh, not be good. Uh, can I... Is there a, uh, a vent at the top of the elevator? No. Oh, is there anything? No. God damn it. Um, yeah, that's... Oh, thanks for the info, I guess, right? Um, hmm. So you're cool with this? Oh, oh no, no. No, I am not cool with this. This is going to be a major cut to profits. This is not good. This is not good. No one's our our primary industry. The casino thing is really just a front, if anything. No, no, no. This is very bad. I am going to kill you, and I am going to make your friends watch, and then I am going to kill them. Okay. Um... Right. Uh, not ideal for me, to, but thank you for the heads up on that. Hey, uh, what 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 floor are we going to, and how far are we from it? You can see uh, by looking <laughs> at the elevator, the little lights passing each floor, that you are about to pass B four. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna polymorph Job and slam on B four. <laughs> I can catch him. Okay. okay. Uh, so Job has to do like a what? Like a charisma? Uh, save wisdom save? saving throw. Okay. He's got to hit 16, is my spell save. DC. He rolls a 14. Ah, yes. Yes. Real cat. Real world cat. <laughs> <laughs> you turn Job into a cat. He goes, How am wow! And he poof, he's a cat and he falls onto the ground. And Ethel says, what? And you slam Whoa, that's, the door. How that happened? The door that's, opens, and you are standing in front of another cobblestone hallway. I'm just gonna book it down all fours. That's crazy. I didn't know Hag Magic did that. 